Welcome to PC Building Simulator. In this video, I'll share with you how to clone your hard drive or OS to an M.2. So first, as you can see, my storage is only one hard drive and I don't have any M.2 installed. Alright, so first you can or you must be able to load up to the OS. After that, you will install the USB. Also, you cannot proceed if you don't have any M.2. So I'm showing you how to install that M.2 in case you don't know. Go to storage and I have already prepared an M.2 which is a data XPG with 960 and it says m.2 over here type m.2 storage and transfer speed so it will be installed over here at the bottom so now we have the m.2 and we have the usb to install the software right so we can just power on the pc and we are going to install the application right so our application is called the OS cloner so just type OS on the search Let's just wait for it by the way this PC is from a secondhand parts dealer so just open the OS cloner and then it says please insert OS clone USB drive to continue so install and then tools and then OS cloning USB drive and just place that anywhere on the USB slot so there it is now you can click clone OS then wait for it to be completed and now it's done it says clone complete reboot the PC to select the target drive so just click here on the start and then restart and then now it will boot to the second USB which is the cloning USB drive so it says here please select the storage device to install the operating system Ensure that you have run the OS Cloner app to copy the OS to the OS cloning USB drive before installing it to a new device. So it means if what you see here is M.2, it will copy the Omega OS here. If you click here, then it will copy the OS on the Mortoni 1TB. Of course, the OS is already in the Mortoni. You want your screen to be showing M.2 gig, and then just click on install now it's installing the Omega OS to M.2 okay now it's booted and we will try to prove if it really does boot on the M.2 which is on my storage I have two one terabyte and M.2 both of them having Omega OS now I'll shut down the PC and then remove the hard drive so I still have my M.2 inserted but my hard drive is already removed as you can see now I'll turn on the PC and I still should be able to boot that in oops seems that I need to remove my USB cloner because it is also booting there let me power it off and power it on again there as you can see it boots up on this storage so I hope you have learned how to clone your hard drive to your M.2 device. 
that's all thank you for watching